I don't know about you guys, but reigning in Minecraft is extremely relaxing. Welcome back everyone to episode 10 of the Minecraft Pocket Edition Let's Play series. Thank you all so much for the support on episode 9, and if you did miss it, you can check it out in description as the melon just grew. Who noticed that? Leave a comment down below. Now in episode 9, it was a really successful episode. We kind of called that the adventure episode, and when I say successful, I mean extremely successful. Now guys, I'm extremely sick at this current point, so if I do cough or sneeze or sniff in today's video, I do apologize. I'm extremely sick and I hate being sick. And if any of you guys are sick, please leave a comment down below because I feel your pain. So last episode, I have now got over a stack of gold and a stack of iron. I've also got uh, 15 bookcases and 39 books because we actually found ourselves Three villages all next to each other. Incredible. I can't believe we found it. But we also came across something else, and that was, in fact, a skeleton spawner. Which leads on to today's episode. So in today's episode, I'm going to be making an XP farm. We need an XP farm, but I need to start enchanting soon. So in the last episode, I also find myself a couple of diamonds. We have four diamonds. I've got 49 gold ore that I need to smelt. Seven iron and the rest is kind of poop. Oh, yeah, by the way guys, I've already made enough to make a portal Plus an enchantment table um, So actually we're gonna grab a couple of these because it would be good if I can make my enchantment table now Get that done get that complete. I need to move some things over right? I don't really need any gold right now So until I need it I'm just gonna stack them in there for now because I can use that as XP later on Also the redstone can disappear as well because I really don't need that um, what else do I need here? Okay, so we need one buck. All right, so I'm got a crafting table up here, which is kind of really bothering me right now. I can make one. Let's make one. I need to definitely put a crafting table in my room. I kind of feel like I'm getting really annoyed because I keep forgetting where to put certain things. Now, of course, I kind of want to put a big bookcase there, a big case, a bookcase there as well. Um, I kind of want to make my home look homely. And also, by the way, we've still got these weird snow glitches going on. You just got to find it. You got to look, as you guys can see. For some reason... It's snowing slash raining. <coughs> All right. Crafting table. Where can you go? Where can we put this crafting table? Hmm. I'm debating on putting it here. Like in... Mm, you know what? For now, we can just stay there. For now, I can just stay there. So, we can uh, finally make ourselves an enchantment table. So, that has been made. That has successfully been done. Which means in the coming episodes, we can make ourselves an enchantment room. Now, I still need to make an enchantment room. I still need to make my chest room, so I've still got a lot to do. Now, I'm going to grab myself. I need a bucket. Now, I think I've got a spare bucket down below because we're going to start to make this XP farm. Oh, it's going to be a skeleton one. Now, in the previous episode, we found ourselves a skeleton spawner along with... No, so, no, sorry. In the previous episode, we found a skeleton spawner. In the previous, previous episode, we found a zombie spawner and a spider spawner. Um, I'm also going to cook my potatoes as well. Let's get them cooking. So we've got lots of uh, choices when it comes to XP farms. Now I've got two buckets in there. I'm going to take the buckets. I'm going to get rid of some materials here because I really don't need any cobblestone that I know of. So all my cobblestone can go in here. And I know you guys are going to be commenting saying, Hey Echo, you're using the beta. Why are you not using the Minecraft PC crafting? I will eventually, okay? I'm just so used to this that I kind of don't want to change. It's just really easy to play this way. So let's get rid of this as well. We need to get rid of all my andesite as well. That can disappear. Because I'm carrying too many blocks I just don't need to be carrying. Even the, like, for example, we have a lot of rotten flesh. But we can't use it because we don't have village trading on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, and I'm trying to keep my chests in good order. I kind of don't want to mess my chests up too much. So, last episode, we actually sorted out my farms as well. So, I've now got over here, this being potato... Okay. This being potatoes... And this being carrots, because I know I'm going to need them. So I'm going to drop this, and I'm also going to grab this as well. Now, for some reason, have I noticed a glitch here? As you guys can see, look at my hotbar now, right? We've got ourselves one torch, but when you look in here, we've got 11. So we've noticed a glitch, and it does it with all of them. Aha! Okay, maybe that, maybe it's meant to do that. I don't really think it's meant to do that, but we've noticed ourselves a little bit of a bug. All right, well, let's grab ourselves some more watermelon, because we don't really need to go too far when it comes to making this. Like, the... The XP farm isn't that far away. It's a little bit of a distance away, but it's not that far away. So, I need to make myself <clears throat> a bunch of sticks. Now, before I... Yeah, a bunch of sticks because we're going to need... We're going to need ladders, guys. I'm going to need a bunch of ladders. You guys will see exactly how I'm going to do this one. This XP farm is going to be slightly different from what I would normally do. 
So let me switch my food out very briefly for now. I'm really running low on food, which isn't a good thing. This is why I'm cooking my potatoes. So the more potatoes I can cook and take with me, the better it's going to be. Are these cooked? They're not cooked. Um, anything else that we can cook? Not really. Not really. Okay, well, I think we've got enough materials for now. Now, the XP farm we're going to do is... We're going in this direction, okay? And I've still got the co coordinate unlocker on in case we need to go down to certain level to get specific things. But I've got myself a diamond pick, which is broken, by the way. Um, but I've got myself... Hold up a little bit of a second here, guys. Let me just check how many diamonds I've got left. I should have three diamonds left, I think. If that's correct, I'm going to use these three diamonds to make a brand... No, I've only got two left? Uh-oh. Okay, well, that's a little bit of a situation here. All right, well, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to make myself... I'm going to make myself two iron pickaxes because I kind of don't want to waste my diamonds just yet. Um... So, I guess we can kind of head off now. I guess we may as well head off. Let's just keep taking the pumpkins, though, because I'll definitely take these. And, of course, the potatoes as well. So, I've decided I'm going to be turning a skeleton farm into... A skeleton spawner into an XP farm. More than anything else, because I think a skeleton one would be more efficient for us. We can get a bow. We can get bones for bone mealing crops. So, let's head off in that direction. And I'll meet you guys there. Oh, oh, made a mistake. Made a mistake. Made a mistake. It's becoming nighttime. So I'm probably best off sleeping before we go anywhere else. So let's get our booties in bed and then I guess it's time to head off to the spawner. Now that is what I call a beautiful morning. Okay, so it's no longer raining. Although it's kind of peaceful, it gets really annoying after a long time. Because it produces all of these snow pieces around my land. But yeah, let's go to the spawner because we've got a lot of digging out to do in today's episode. Ta-da! Okay, so I built a massive podium so I wouldn't forget where this is. And I'm going to leave this here. Like, a good way to remember your places <clears throat> is to stick a couple of cobblestone pieces quite high in the air and just lower yourself down with water. It works absolutely perfectly, and I've not had any issues in locating things. But if you guys are playing my world and the Cedar's Echo Soldier, the coordinates are right there. I kind of don't like to give you guys coordinates because you should go and adventure on your own. But in case you need them, those are the coordinates. <clears throat> now, the problem with this spawner is... Is it's not that far down. It's literally here. Now, I know there's a little bit of iron there. Oh, there's gold. We missed this. We'll take this. We'll take the extra bit of gold. When I told you guys we found a lot of gold, I mean, we found a lot of gold. Um, but the issue we have here is that this spawner, it's not that high up. Should I say? We're at level 52. So, we're going to have to go down with this spawner. I'm not going to go up and then down. I'm just going to go straight down. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build it with you guys, but I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so phase one for the people who want to build this as well. The room needs to be a nine by nine room. You can go a little bit higher if you really want to, but in this instance, I'm not going to unless the spawn rate of these skeletons is kind of sucky. So the next phase is we've got to go down by three. Just one more layer to go. The only problem is skeletons will start to spawn now because of the certain amount of uh, light level. So make sure it's really, really bright. And if skeletons do start to spawn, just place a couple of torches down. 
Last layer. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to align this with this wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two for now. And what we need to do is we need to take out this layer only on its own. This is because water can only go a certain amount of times. If you guys are wondering why we need to go down by three, it's because mobs don't spawn in water. Um, so they need to drop down into water. So I probably should cover this up a little bit like this. So as you guys can see it like that. So how this will work is when you put a bucket here and a bucket there it will centralize and then all we're going to do here is just keep mining until the water stops so for example the water stops here which means we're going to dig down 21 blocks from there so before we do this guys i just want to make sure everything's working fine again it's a nine by nine room and then you drop down by three and you should be good to go so before we do this i want to quickly put a couple of things up here um i've done tutorials on how to do xp farms in the past so you guys can go and check them but let's get rid of some of these because I don't really want to be carrying too much material on me. Um, the ladders will also come into play very soon as well. So <clears throat> let's get rid of all of these because I don't need these. I don't even need the uh, the bones for now. I don't even need the gold for now. This can all just disappear. I will, of course, need the, um, the water though. So water buckets are going to be useful. I mean, this isn't normally the XP farm I would do. But in this instance, because it's really not that high up, it's probably going to be for the best if we do this. Um, so I do need to go down now by... Uh, 21 blocks, which might be a little bit of a pain here, actually, and I might have to use some extra water, but for now, let's get rid of this, and let's get rid of this, because I kind of don't want anything to, uh, cause me any issues here. I'm just trying to think how I'm going to do this. I'm probably going to have to build some kind of staircase anyway, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I know this goes against all the rules of mining, um, mining down, but you're going to have to do it in this instance. So this block is what is really important to us. So I'm just going to go down around here a little bit more. Um, I'm going to have to dig around just a little bit more. So I'm going to have to make a little bit, bit bigger room because we're going to have to go back, back up again. Yes, we're going to have to go back up. And this is where the ladders come into play. So the ladders are going to go, hmm, let's just say we go this way by two. And then we're going to have to go up around about 20 blocks. Um, and that is broken. Okay, that's fine. So I'm just going to skip ahead and get rid of the boring stuff because it can become really annoying. And of course... We find some gold straight away. You know what, guys? I found so much gold in two episodes. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm definitely going to take the gold. But now let's just patch this up. I'll make this look a little bit more prettier when we have time. So I've made just a little bit of a room here, just so we have space to work. Now, in the future episodes, I will eventually bring down another enchantment table room around here, just so we can get grind XP and, of course, uh, enchant at the same time. And that's not meant to be in there. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go back. Um, are we on the right block? Yes. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the surface. Now, the reason why I'm resurfacing is because I want to make sure we have a, a good way to get up and down. I probably will eventually add some ladders in here to go up and down. But for now, I think this is probably the best thing to do just because I don't want to mine up into gravel. <clears throat> and considering we're in a maze biome, I kind of don't want to mine into sand because, of course, red sand can spawn here. So we're going to go back to the surface and we're going to complete the farm. I've had a little bit of a minor issue here. Not only is it nighttime, but we've mined into the probably the only water pool in this biome. So I'm just going to have to patch up all this water so we don't drown ourselves. So what I've done, guys, is I pretty much buried my way back to the top. There's the, um, the entrance that we know of. Again, I will eventually make this one with ladders because it'll look so much better with ladders. But for now, I'm just going to have to just stick to the way we know, which is mining up like ladder system way. So this is what we got so far. All right, so this will lead me all the way back down to the spawner, which is where we will stand to gather the XP. Now, it doesn't really matter where you stand at this point, because I'm, I'm going to clean this up in the future episodes. I just want to get this XP farm up and running, because who doesn't want to grind out XP, you know, on the episode 10? Good episode to do this in. So, let's go back down to the spawner, which is down here. Where am I going? 
it's time to uh, <clears throat> block off as much as we can. I'm going to leave this here as much as I can. So for now, let's just go, what, oops, that's not how I wanted it to go. I wanted it to go like this, and then like this. So they get pushed to the end, and then they'll fall down. So what we need to do now is I'm going to have to start filling this all up with buckets. So let's do this. So let's grab ourselves all three buckets which is gonna be infinite water, of course. So we should have an extra bucket here, we do. Let's grab all of these. And of course, I'm gonna to have to take out the torches as well. So let's go one, two, and three. Now they should start spawning once I start taking out the light source. So let's go back up. One, two, three. I think you need nine buckets, considering it's a nine by nine room. One, two, and three. Two more, three more should do. One, two, three. We're nearly there. This is a really big project, by the way. One, and it should be working. It's working fine. All right, so now, now what we've got to do is we've got to take out these torches, okay? Because we don't want, we want them to spawn. Now, they're going to start to attack you. I know this. This is where armor comes into play as well. So they're being pushed down now. Two more to go. I'm being attacked, though. One more to go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, let's get out of here before we do die. Uh-oh. I need to get out. I need to get out before I get killed. There we go. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. They're going to start to attack each other. That's fine. There's still one more torch I need to get rid of. But before we do this, I'm going to start doing this. Because otherwise, I'm going to end up being killed here. Which isn't something I want to do. So, where's this last torch at? Last torch is right here. Which makes... Oh, there's one more. There we go. There we go, guys. So, we maximize the spawning. Now, all you got to do is close off this room. No more torches are in there, so they should all go down to where we broke down. So, let's just quickly... I'm just going to patch up all this. It doesn't need to be here, so let's patch this all up. Oh, there we go. This bit too. Let's get rid of this. Here we go. Looking good. I'm going to patch this up as well. I will, I will eventually probably come back for some other things. So just getting rid of some uh, items. But that's how it works, guys. It's really that simple to do. Now, it's, now it becomes the important part of making them spawn and how this works. So this is all down to ear. I can't really tell you how this works. It's all down to listening. So we're going to go back to what we just did. Which, of course, is over here. I feel like I'm doing a tutorial today. It's not a tutorial. It's just, it's just I'm making the XP farm. So let's go back down. So we, we're going to change this. I will eventually have this as a ladder system. Which would be a lot easier for me to get up and down. I kind of don't want to have this floating here and going up and down this way. Come on. Okay, so as you guys can see, the skeletons are standing here. Now, a couple of them have died because obviously they fell down. But it works. But they'll stop spawning after a while. Which means we need to go up a certain amount of blocks. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to grab these. So we went down 21, so that's 21, so this is 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. All right, got to be really careful here. So let's go one, oops, one. I'm just listening to them very carefully spawning because they are going to start to spawn very soon. And of course, more gold. I'm going to take a couple of these out so you can start to hear them spawning, which means you're at a good point. I don't have any torches. Uh-oh. Okay, we'll have to worry about that later on. Go up a little bit higher. We're getting there. Start to hear the water, and okay, we found ourselves. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Right, let's just grab myself my tools. So we're going to stay here. And all we're going to do is we're just going to make sure we have like a walkway. So all we do is we stand here, and all they'll do is start to drop down, meaning that we're going to start to gather XP. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is just for the meantime, I'm going to put down my chest because I feel like I need to make myself a couple of torches. Because it's it's really not bright here. So, torch can go there. 
It wasn't in fact gold, it was in fact iron. Um, and they'll start to spawn down below, which means we've now got ourselves a perfect XP farm. Which is gonna grab a bunch of a bunch of ex skeletons. I only said zombies and skeletons, but yeah, a bunch of skeletons. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up. Have a great day, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.